This is the trail right now. I will probably not record much on my phone until this rain stops because I don't want to hurt my phone and it's miserable and I just want to keep going but it's probably going to be another 20 mile day. I'll see you when I see you. I had to stop and take my gloves off for this because there's a Mount Gooit? Gooit? I don't know but there's one in New Hampshire and I've hiked it before and I was just on it and I didn't know until I got to the sign. But I've been running for a majority of today. It's not as rainy as it was this morning, which is nice. But there's a possibility that I will leave the Smokies today, which I wasn't planning on it until this morning. There's a hostel as soon as you exit the Smokies, 20 something mile day. I don't know, <laughs> haven't looked up my phone a whole lot. This is actually the first time. Um, I was frigid cold this morning. I stopped at the first shelter I could to add more layers. I had my gloves, my rain mitts, my hand warmers. I've been jogging to keep my temperature up, but it's, it's looking good now. But I think I'm gonna keep this fast pace so I can hopefully get to that hostel by the end of today, get a nice bed, and then zero there tomorrow. So I'm doing big miles so I can take a break when I finally leave the Smoky Mountains. Um, this has been the first crappy day, or like truly crappy day, but I've, I've enjoyed my time. This time in the Smokies was better than I thought it would be. So here I am in the Crosby Knob Shelter. I hiked 13 miles today to get here and the hostel is only nine miles away. So I definitely picked up the pace. It is, it's 1.45 right now. So I started hiking at 8.15 this morning. So I don't know what that pace is, but I think it's pretty good. And only nine miles to go sounds very doable right now. So I got a snack. I stopped to like let my feet dry a little bit. Um, I'm gonna drink my electrolyte water. I just want to feel as good as I can for this final push. All right, the GPS finally kicked in on my phone and it's actually 10.4 miles to the hostel. Still very doable. I'm okay with that. So I'm at the top of Mount Kammerer, don't know how to pronounce it, but this is the last climb of the Smokies. So all I have left to do is downhill and then I'll be out of this thing. <laughs> Davenport Gap is where I'm headed. So I just got word that someone I know is at Standing Bear Hostel. And I haven't met this person yet, but I'm so excited. I'm like literally running. I want to get to that hostel so bad. And like this terrain is easy and there's food there and I'm running super low on food and there's beer there and whew, I'm just so ready. Out of the Smokies. Woo! Woo! So long, Smokies. Bye. That was a trip. <laughs> Wait. I think AT, like, well, I I'm carrying like 200. Yep. Yeah. But. All right, it's the next morning at Standing Bear Hostel, and I said that we were, I was going to meet someone here, and I'm going to show you who it is. Uh, who is it? Hi. It's Frosty. <laughs> what up, guys? Fellow YouTube vlogger, fellow Frozen's class of 2020. I finally caught up to him. 
I, I took you long enough. I expected you like a week ago. Insert <laughs> insert clip from when I was on Frosty Mountain and I said I was gonna catch up. <laughs> Hi, Frosty. I'm gonna catch up to you. Just wait. It's <laughs> <laughs> the only reason why I hiked the approach trail was yeah. Frosty Mountain. That yeah. was it. So, just finished breakfast. I'm doing laundry. Good puppy.